one of the things that I'm known for is calling out the bad practices in my industry of business and marketing training. So you may have heard me talk about how we don't need to use those complicated traffic and conversion funnels anymore because it's inauthentic and most of the time it doesn't work. And most of the time it's unpleasant to use uh, from the, the, the user side and it's unpleasant to experience from the consumer side of things. Uh, and that there's better organic ways of, of, of building an audience and actually making sales, et cetera. I've talked about that. I've talked about no more free manipulative webinars that were supposed to give you all these free uh, tips and tricks, but then ends up being a, a, a deliberately designed sales process, et cetera. I've talked about not using hype and scarcity tactics and marketing, et cetera. So I've become known in part for calling out the bad practices of my industry and I want to encourage you to do the same in your industry, in every single industry. Think about the people you learn from. Think about your peers. Is there, or people you used to learn from, are there any practices that they're doing or that your peers are doing that are not, are less than honest or are somewhat manipulative or certain things they're teaching you don't believe is really best for the industry, best for the clients, best for the potential clients. Please do it. Just go ahead and call out the bad practices. Now, don't name, I never name any um, of my peers. I don't say, well, don't buy so-and-so's programs. Don't, you know, don't follow so-and-so. You don't have to name people, but name the dishonest and manipulative or less than quality, less than aligned practices in your industry. By doing so, you will actually, you know, your audience will be so grateful because they probably have experienced what you're talking about, right? As a consumer, they've experienced it and um, your peers will be held to a higher standard going forward. And also you will help hold yourself to a higher standard going forward, which is only a good thing, right? So it's a good thing. So, so that's my, my main message to you is just to ask yourself, I mean, ask yourself, in my content, am I regularly calling out these bad practices and then saying what we could be doing better instead, Okay, what we could do differently instead? I do that all the time in my content. And the other thing I want to say in this piece of uh, content is to call out, <laughs> because you consume business and marketing trainings. I mean, that's you're watching my videos, right? So you have probably purchased business and marketing trainings. I invite you to actually think about it, okay? In, in the months or years where you have been building your business, <clears throat> you have probably spent thousands of dollars. Some of, you have, some of you have spent tens of thousands of dollars on different marketing programs, trainings, business trainings and programs and coaching. What hasn't met your expectation? Now, again, don't comment below and say, oh, so-and-so's program sucked, you know. But why didn't it meet your expectations? What did they do in their marketing that wasn't accurate with what you actually experienced using their service or their product? I'd love to know. And by the way, if I ever make any promises in my marketing that isn't aligned with what you bought from me, please let me know. I honestly, I actually... Um, uh, over the years, I occasionally get a refund request, and I'm always grateful. Well, <laughs> I should say I, I always try to be grateful, um, uh, but I always learn something from those, whether in the moment or you know, months later as I reflect back on, like, wow, yeah, that person was, was true. That, that I'm grateful for that person because probably other people didn't like the product, and they never told me. This person told me. How, how great was that? I... One of the things my mom used to say to me when I was a kid is, your real friends will tell you how to improve uh, what's not quite right about what you're doing. Your fake friends will just, not not that this is always true, but your fake friends will just tell you things you want to hear. Oh, you look great. Oh, you're, everything's fine. You know, you do, you're doing great, whatever. But your true friends will say, well, yes. And, you know, what, what, what you could do better is in this and this way and that way, right? So she taught me to be open to criticism um, as a result. So 
<clears throat> I'm passing that wisdom on, on, on to you now. Uh, you probably have heard that before, but it's good to be reminded. And, and I've also noticed that some of, my, some of my refunders become some of my best clients. This is really, really true. When I'm open and accepting of, of, of their refund request, um, you know, things, things can really mend and they become some of my best clients as a result. <clears throat> so um, call me out when I'm doing something that's not aligned with, you know, between my marketing and my service and product and call out my peers, like privately message my peers to say, hey, you know, I don't like it when you do this because it's not accurate to how the product or service actually is like. And then call that out in your social media postings, you know, not, not naming anybody, but say, hey, it's, you know, beware of business and marketing trainings that promise this and this because, because you know, it's not really what you experience. Um, a lot of times, one, one example is that testimonials are often the most, the, the rare uh, person who gets so much out of a particular product or service. And then the typical person experiences nothing like the testimonial. That's terrible. That's terrible, but that's a regular practice in my industry at least and probably in yours as well, okay? So call that out in my industry, but also in your own. Call out the practices that are hyping up things that are untrue, that are uh, manipulative, and, and just practices that you think are ineffective for your clients and for your potential clients. Call that out in your content, and you will notice that that is some of your best content. I mean, some of your most well-received content and some of your viral content will come out of that. Okay, so I hope this is helpful, and <clears throat> um, thanks to those who were able to join me live. Nick and Suzanne, Diane, Lori, Caroline, um, thanks so much, everyone. So... Um, yeah, Laurie says, what an interesting question. I've never thought about what bad practices others in my industry do. Never more than a passing thought. This is a great way to serve your audience, to help them uh, ID the charlatans. Yeah, absolutely. ID the charlatans, call that out. Not the specific people, but call out the practices so that your potential clients will recognize what to, so that the whole industry can be lifted up. So that basically, if you are going to be the honest marketer, so, so here, here's been, my challenge over the years, right, is I've been trying to be honest. The problem is that a lot of you are still buying from the dishonest marketers, right? Because they are willing to promise you the moon and the stars, knowing full well that the most of the buyers don't experience the moon and the stars. It's just 5% of the buyers, for whatever reason, you know, uh, uh, ex ex experience extraordinary results. And those are the ones you see in the case studies and the testimonials, et cetera, right? Um, you are still buying from them, even though they're lying to you. And I'm trying not to lie to you. I'm trying to be honest about what my thing does. Um, so I, I'm trying to call them out, not call them out, but call out those practices and the hype. I need to do a better job of it so that you can stop buying from them and buy from me, you know, and buy, buy from people like me who are more honest. But same thing with your industry. Your potential clients and customers are buying from the charlatans. They're spending their money there and not with you. I'll say that again. Your potential clients and customers are spending their hard-earned dollars with the charlatans of your industry, okay? And, and not just charlatans, but also the ineffective people, people who are just not as effective at doing what, what you do, you know? And if you need clients, they should be spending money with you, not with them, you see? So call out these practices so that the entire, um, your industry can be uplifted. You can earn the money that, that, that you should be earning, not the charlatans, okay? And, and, and so that the other honest providers in your industry can, can do better as well. If we all start calling these out, the entire market, the entire online space will be uplifted. Everyone will be forced to become more honest. Um, and, you know, honestly, a lot of times the charlatans and whatever, they're not, <clears throat> they're not thinking, gosh, I'm, I'm, how can I deceive people and, you know, <laughs> how, how can I be a bad person? Nobody's thinking that. But what happens, I've been a charlatan too, okay? I'll tell you, I mean, those of you who have seen me for, you know, eight, nine years know that in the beginning I used these practices too. It's not like I thought I was going to be a bad person, but I thought that that was what I had to do. That's why the charlatans do it. It's they think 
they think they have to use these techniques because that's what you're supposed to do in marketing or in business or uh, this is all I was this is all I know how to do that's all they know and so when you start calling it out people had to call out some of my practices and wasn't comfortable at first but then I was like you know after some sleepless nights I came to realize oh you know maybe they're right and besides calling out the bad practices also talk about what is a better alternative so whenever you notice I call out things like you know you don't have to use complex traffic and conversion funnels do this instead I always say do this instead right rather than just complain also give a solution and model the solution yourself okay so if we do this if, if you do this you'll notice that your audience grows because your audience will be so grateful for this kind of content from you um, and they will start to respond pay attention to your content more than the charlatans content they will start to ID who who the ineffective people or the charlatans are and again the charlatans were me at an earlier stage it's not not that they're evil they just need to see an alternative that's better then they need to see you model that better alternative okay and call out that in your content all right so anyway thanks for joining me uh, Jen Lori and Alex and Sharon and others who were um, able to join me live and those who are watching I welcome your comments below let me know what you think about this and how will you start to call out the ineffective practices and the manipulative practices in your industry all right and mentioning a, a better alternative and then modeling the alternative for others so I wish you well and um, have a great day